A lovely morning to you all. Welcome back to Sonnet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malaudzi and it's a great pleasure to be your instructor for the Red Dead Certified Engineer course. This is the Maria DB video course and this is video 2 of 5. In this particular video, I will show you how to install and configure Maria DB in Red Dead Enterprise 7. And the procedure is quite simple and what we'll do we will first install MariaDB uh, that will be yum install MariaDB server and then we can also install the MariaDB once we we're done with that we can enable and start MariaDB we can as well check the status and the initial uh, configuration of MariaDB uses the script mysql underscore secure underscore installation so this script is located in the uh, bin directory as other scripts um, and restricting the remote access to mariadb is fairly easy and you just have not to uh, touch the file simply as that so it's and if you want to go further, which I wrote here as optional, you can go further by doing that. The first option is to append the line without quotations. You append the line, skip dash networking is equal to one. So which means it will ignore uh, all connections from outside. So that line is appended into this file, the forward slash etc slash my.cnf so this is the main configuration file for uh, MariaDB so once you append this line into that file MariaDB won't uh, listen to outside connections and option number two you can just create a rich rule uh, a rich file rule that will implicitly deny access to MariaDB so you, the service, uh, the firewall recognize MariaDB as my SQL, and then if you want to use port instead of the service, you can use port three three zero six. That's the default port for MariaDB and my SQL. Without wasting time, let's get to GNS three and start configuring. So on GNS3, we are required to install MariaDB on test1.example.com machine, which is this one. Its IP is that. And I've got a central server, which uh, during an exam, you do not have access to. So this is the server you do not have access to. And it, it will act as a YAM repository as well. So without wasting time, let's start configuring. So I need to log on to the test one machine. Okay, just double click and start the uh, the, uh, the the console. Um, I need to log in. I'll log in as myself. That's Bruce. Enter my password. Okay, now I'm logged in. Okay, once I'm logged in, I can start configuring. So I'll start the terminal. So I'll right click on desktop and open in terminal. And let me make that bigger. Okay, so I will log in as root. That will be su dash the password. Clear the screen. So the first thing we need to do is to install the, the MariaDB packages. So I will refresh my YAM repository so that will be YAM clean all. And then I do YAM uh, repo list. OK, 
okay so let me clear the screen my yam is fine it's refreshed so the command is yam install mariadb server and mariadb with the dash y So the packages will be installed. Okay, once the packages are installed, we are good to go. So I'll clear the screen. The next thing is to enable this uh, MariaDB service. So the command is systemctl uh, enable MariaDB, just like that. The next thing is to start the service. So that will be Maria uh, systemctl start. Maria DB, just like that. The next thing is to see if our service is running, and it's a good practice to do that. So that will be system CTL status Maria DB. Okay, Maria DB is running, so I'll clear the screen. So we need to do the uh, um, the initial configuration of MariaDB. It uses the script MySQL secure installation. So that will be MySQL underscore secure underscore installation. So the script is interactive and asking you if you want to use the current password for root so we are required to change the root password to red Hat. so uh, the current password is nothing so just have to press enter now I need to set the root password so I will say yes enter the new root password that will be red Hat. And confirm and we can remove the anonymous users we don't need them so I'll say yes and it's asking if I want to disallow root, uh, root logins from remote locations I'll say yes because we have been asked that our database should not be uh, accessed from uh, outside so I'll say yes, remove test database, you can say no or yes, but I'll just say yes to remove it. And re reload privilege tables, yes, of course. So, it's been set. So now what we can do is to try to log in. So the command is mysql minus u, which is... Uh, for user so the user is root and minus p for the password so if i can do that i'll be requested for the password in the next inter in, uh, in the next screen so here's my password prompt so i enter the password so i am logged into mariadb so let me exit from here and clear the screen if i want to i can say uh, my sql minus or can i say dash user which is u uh, root minus p if i want to enter the password right now i can do that without uh, without waiting for the prompt so that will be once you put your dash p don't leave space, just enter your password straight away. So remember our password is ready. 
so right now it looks like it says pre predate because the p is for password and then without a space or dash no space in between here and then you put your password it will go through as you can see i'm logged in so once you log in um you can do commands such as uh, show tables sorry show databases so the uh, query commands are not case sensitive and um, the data and the tables the database names the tables and the data inside it is case sensitive so in this case if i do show databases i have that and i have that and i have that so in the next video we will create a database and we have been asked to create the database named address book so in this demonstration we just did a simple uh, installation and configuration and this database should not be uh, reached from the outside or remotely so at, at this current moment uh, MariaDB is not allowed access through the firewall so i can leave it as it is anyone from outside cannot access this database and then if you want to take it further if you want defense in depth uh, you can go for those two options which i mentioned earlier the first option was to is to append a line skip networking in the main configuration of uh, of MariaDB. The second option was to create a rich role. So let's let me show you a little bit. So if you go into the main configuration, um, that will be slash etc, and then my CNF. So if you want to skip, or can I say? Uh, to lock down your database not to be accessed from or remotely so you append the line skip networking so that will be skip like that dash networking equals to one so that's all you need that line then you can save all right so that was the simple demonstration and in the next video i'll show you um, how to proceed with that scenario and i would like to thank you for watching and i hope this has been informative goodbye for now